Good evening. I am honored to receive this year's Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award. I want to thank Mr. Stephen Hamlin, the Selection Committee, and the Board for presenting me with this prestigious award. A special thank you to Beth Doctor and Regina Dubon for all of their hard work in making my journey with Leadership Links smooth and stress-free. I also want to thank my coach, Don Herter, for pushing me to work my hardest as a golfer, and my parents for instilling life lessons that shape my views today. The AJGA has defined most of our junior golf careers. From the early years of earning stars to enter events, to now accumulating Rolex AJGA ranking points for the invitationals, the AJGA continues to provide a platform to test us against the best competition and a place where college coaches can effectively recruit the next generation of talented players. Most importantly, the AJGA community attracts great people from all around the country and inspires lasting friendships. Friendships that will grow as we compete with and against each other in the years ahead. In his 1961 inaugural speech, President John F. Kennedy challenged Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Tonight, I ask you a similar question. Ask not what the AJGA can do for you, but what can we do for the AJGA? What can we do for our communities? The AJGA community has given each of us so much. I'm here tonight to tell you about my journey in giving back and hopefully inspire you to do the same. Over the last two years, I've been a volunteer and coach for the first tee of Green Valley Ranch in Colorado. Golf is one of the few sports where you need to know the rules and do the right thing, especially when nobody is looking. Golf is one of the few sport, or it's a game where integrity, honesty, and perseverance govern everything you do. And that's why I was drawn to the First Tee program and their nine core values. It's so rewarding when I see the kids improve their skills and learn about themselves. I've seen shy kids explode with confidence when they finally sink that putt. I've seen kids with broken families find a sense of belonging. And yes, I've even witnessed kids cheat and learn that taking shortcuts is no prize. These are important life lessons, and the FIRST-T programs do an amazing job of teaching these values and making them av available to all kids from all backgrounds. It's also important to me that everyone has a chance to compete for their dreams. Growing up in Colorado, I've, I've had to travel a lot to play in national events to keep my game tuned during the cold winter months. I know how expensive it can be. The AJGA ACE grant programs help bridge that gap to ensure that we, as players, always have the most competitive field possible. No one should miss an opportunity because they can't afford to compete. Because both the AJGA ACE grant and the first tee of Green Valley Ranch are important to me, I joined Leadership Links with an initial goal of raising $5,000. I love the birdie program where donors can pledge a dollar, five, or even 10 per birdie. It is fun making tournament birdies, but it's more fun making birdies when it's to support a great cause. I thought that asking for money was going to be difficult. What I found is that people were glad that I asked. Not only could they do could they donate to charitable causes, but they were also excited to follow my success on and off the golf course. I created a Twitter handle and kept everyone posted on my tournament results. I hit the refresh button on my Leadership Links website often. It was truly thrilling to see new donors join and watch the birdies multiply into dollars. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I could finish the year raising $41,030 from 65 donors, including a matching grant of $2,500 from the USGA. <laughs> I am proud of what I have accomplished, but I am even more excited to impact the people who benefit from the First Tee and ACE grant programs. It was only a year ago that I sat in this exact room listening to last year's Jerry Cole recipient Ian Johnson tell his story. It touched me. It motivated me. I wondered how I could have that kind of impact on my community. 
Tonight, I ask all of you to join me in setting a new, new record for leadership links in 2020. Let's all give back to our community. The roadmap is easy. Be passionate about a project or a charity. Lean on friends, family, teachers, and the greater golfing community for support. Be willing to ask. Write a letter, a follow-up, and as the AJGA has always taught us, don't forget to write a personal thank you. Let us be an example to teens across the country in all sports and all walks of life. It's not how we play the game, but also how we care for each other in our community that matters. Thank you.